once again over three three minute rounds of action would you welcome first into the red corner representing Mayo's Jim Alex Mario. <laughs> Welcome into the blue corner, his opponent, representing Peterborough Martial Arts, Chris Mario. <laughs> three three minute rounds of action, Marriott in the red, Malia in the blue. Right guys, three threes. Novice amateur rules means no head contact, standing up or on oh, the floor. We were on head contact. No, this is novice amateur. No, we we swapped it. We swapped to Terry. Right, my fault. Okay. Right, right. Right. right, so head contact, right, standing, but no knees or elbows. Standing up, right? No knees standing up. No, not to the head. Oh, to you the get head. elbow and knee to the body down, but no elbows or knees to the head. Okay. All right, okay. In the venture, I've got to stop the ground. Listen. Neutral corner, there or there, okay? Back you go, let's have a fight. Bit of a problem with the rules there, Karate Steve. Uh, I find rules are very Ready? overrated myself. Ready? Let's fight. Let the action flow. The winner will be decided by the crowd. That's the way I like to see things. This is what we like, action straight away. The guillotine is just going everywhere tonight. It's, it's like we're in France. Back in the day, everyone's losing their heads. The crowd especially, it's going phenomenal out there for the guillotines. This was literally the Dorothy Stringer school playing field all over again. Now, let's see what's going on in the tuck shop with the cheerleaders. Well, they seem to be ordering the world-famous string of cheese rolls. Oh, they were great, the string of cheese they rolls. They were. Now, back to the guillotine action. I've had my cheese roll. We're back on board. Oh, the action's exploded all Phenomenal of a piece of ground and pound now. I think he did actually just breach the, the rules as set out for this fight. Rules are out the window there. They didn't start from the ref doesn't know. The fighters don't know. Let's just let the blood flow. That's what I say. They're the rules you need. Little hill hip going on here. Chris, stomach sick. This is what you do have to really admire. Chris Malia's corner team there. And this corner man is shouting through. Helping him, being his third eye. Have you got a third eye, Steve? I did have, but I fell over hard on that hammer and you know that I don't like talking about it. Let's get back to the cheer girls. A lot of these amateur and semi-pro fights, they tend to be more dominant on the BJJ. Often I wonder if a lot of the guys that do BJJ tournaments decide to come to these because to get a feel for the cage. But for me, you can't really get a feel for the case until you've been struck in the face. Have you ever been struck in the face, Karate Steve? I've been struck in the shin, the knee, the shoulder, the left shoulder, the right shoulder again, and then the face. That was one awesome turnstile I walked through, and I should never try jumping them again. Let's talk about your long and illustrious karate career, Karate Steve. Well, as you know, I don't like to brag, but back under Master Tung Zhu, of the, the very rarely noticed Celtic Asian warriors, taught me the world famous death pokes the, the i like to say the five finger death stroke i actually had a five finger knuckle death stroke earlier and they said i'm going to die from it i'm very sorry to hear that mark i hope you you can make it with the rest of the fight otherwise i will have to do commentary all on my own which i'm sure the crowd will not enjoy father johnston from my local parish told me that i was going to go blind if i carry on doing martial arts that wasn't from martial arts that was from marital arts both men, both men dishing out punishment. Here as we see an armbar just about to be applied. Trying to be sunk in here. Has he got the strength to pop it out or is it going to be all over? Awesome positioning there. Using the cage to his advantage. The arm bar is not... Oh, the arm actually looks hyper-extended there. But a true warrior. He's fighting through. On. He's fighting through. Could have been safe by the bell there, ladies and gentlemen. Could have been safe by the bell. What's my favourite show as a child? Also is now. Back for bringing it to you. Hey. Okay. Call them in there doing their job. Giving them the words of wisdom. On to round two.
Chris Row Manio looking slightly gassed Row here. Two. You ready? Ready? Let's fight. And here we go. Alex with the massive reach advantage. Oh, he's a giant of a man. He's a giant of a pygmy. Makes no sense. Back to the action. Chris, the fists are flying. Striker. The fists are absolutely flying now. As they start. One of the worst roundhouse kicks I've ever seen. Good flying knee, those are comebacks. So I'm proud of the guys. You've got to admire the footwork though, they're bouncing around on the moon, on the moon right now, it's unbelievable. Zero G fight. Oh, spinning back fist, that comes from nowhere. For a semi-pro bout, I have to say, this is quite brutal. There's knees to the head. Good shot, shot to the body. Back to the knees. Unification of the rules is something that needs to happen in this country. Every fight should start with a massive, unbelievably amount of shoddy rule starting and then no one knows what's going on who's having it. That's it, break, fight, fight, And it's fight. over! It's all over! Sit down, sit down, the sit fight down, went the right down. way. It was absolutely brilliant. Right. Sit, sit. That was a spectacular fight for semi-pro. And sportingly again, he goes to check on his fallen it. opponent. Yeah. That is why we love MMA. MMA spirit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree that was a great fight while it went on. What an incredible performance by both young men. But we do have a winner by way of guillotine in 55 seconds of the second round. The red corner, Alex Mario. Will I be